World Toilet Day WTD is an official United Nations International Observance Day on the 19th of November to inspire action to tackle the global sanitation crisis. Worldwide, 4.5 billion people live without safely managed sanitation, and around 892 million people practice open defecation. Sustainable Development Goal 6 aims to achieve sanitation for all and end open defecation. World Toilet Day exists to inform, engage and inspire people to take action toward achieving this goal. World Toilet Day was established by the World Toilet Organization in 2001. Twelve years later, the UN General Assembly declared World Toilet Day an official UN Day in 2013. UN Water is the official convener of World Toilet Day. UN Water maintains the official World Toilet Day website and chooses a special theme for each year. In 2018, the theme is Nature Based Solutions. Themes in previous years included wastewater, toilets and jobs, and toilets and nutrition. World Toilet Day is marked by communications campaigns and other activities. Events are planned by UN entities, international organizations, local civil society organizations, and volunteers to raise awareness and inspire action. Toilets are important because access to a safe functioning toilet has a positive impact on public health, human dignity, and personal safety, especially for women. Sanitation systems that do not safely treat excreta allow the spread of disease. Serious soil transmitted diseases and waterborne diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, typhoid, dysentery and schistosomiasis can result. Topic: <coughs> Convener <coughs> 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 In 2013, UN Water and the Thematic Priority Area TPA on Drinking Water and Basic Sanitation received the mandate to oversee World Toilet Day each year. This mandate is described in the United Nations Resolution A, 67 per liters.75, in consultation with the UN Water World Toilet Day Task Force, made up of UN Water member organizations. UN Water selects the theme based on that year's World Water Development Report and develops content for World Toilet Day communications campaigns. UN UN Water manages the World Toilet Day website which promotes key issues and stories, provides communications and campaigns resources, and announces events and opportunities to participate. The overall World Toilet Day campaign mobilizes civil society, think tanks, non-governmental organizations, academics, corporations and the general public to participate in the associated social media and communications campaigns. Ultimately, the aim is to encourage organizations and governments to plan activities and action on sanitation issues to make progress on Sustainable Development Goal 6. Annual themes Starting in 2012, World Toilet Day themes were selected for each year and form the basis of the related communications campaigns. Since 2016, the same overall annual theme has been used for both World Toilet Day and World Water Day, based on the World Water Development Report. 2019 – Leaving No One Behind 2018 – Nature-Based Solutions – Slogan 
when nature calls 2017 wastewater 2016 toilets and jobs 2015 toilets and nutrition 2014 equality and dignity 2013 tourism and water protecting our common future 2012 i give a shit do you slogan topic examples of activities and events topic urgent run In the lead up to World Toilet Day, communities worldwide come together for sanitation themed, urgent runs. More than 63 events were held in 42 countries. Events included fun runs, awareness walks, toilet cleaning programs, carnivals, and even motorbike parades. Organizers unite communities around the world to raise awareness of the global sanitation challenge and engage people with sanitation issues in their local communities. Community groups, private companies, universities and NGOs plan events all over the world. Countries participating include, Bangladesh, Benin, Bhutan, Burundi, Cambodia, Cameroon, Canada, China, Congo Brazzaville, France, Gambia, Germany, Ghana, India, Indonesia, Italy, Kenya, Mongolia, Mozambique, Namibia, Netherlands, Pakistan, Philippines, Senegal, Tanzania, United States and Vietnam. Topic. Launch of reports Some organizations launch toilet-related or sanitation-related reports on World Toilet Day. For example, WHO, UNICEF and USAID 2015. Improving Nutrition Outcomes with Better Water, Sanitation and Hygiene, Practical Solutions for Policies and Programs." The International Labor Office 2016 Wash at Work, Self-Training Handbook The Toilet Board Coalition 2017. Sanitation Economy Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor WSUP 2017. Guide to Strengthening the Enabling Environment for Fecal Sludge Management <laughs> Public education Members of the Sustainable Sanitation Alliance Susanna used the momentum around World Toilet Day in 2017 to update Wikipedia articles on WASH-related topics. This contributes to public education about the sanitation crisis. The documentary, Follow the Flush. Released 19 November 2017, educates people about what happens beneath the streets of New York City after a person flushes a toilet in Manhattan. Topic: 2018 events. Planned events for World Toilet Day 2018 include diverse activities such as a hackathon in Ghana to promote digital solutions, a seminar hosted by Engineers Without Borders in Denmark, a screening and discussion of the Bollywood movie Toilet, Ek Prem Katha in English, Toilet, a love story in Canada, and a school drawing competition in India. Topic Impacts 
In 2016, the World Toilet Day campaign and related publications reached millions of people through social media, dedicated websites and other channels. Over 100 events in 40 countries were registered on the World Toilet Day website in both 2016 and in 2017. The UN Water Annual Report states that in 2017 the hashtag hashtag World Toilet Day had a maximum potential reach of around 750 million people on social media. History On 19 November 2001, the World Toilet Organization was founded by Jack Sim, a philanthropist from Singapore. He subsequently declared 19 November as World Toilet Day, the WTO later the UN chose the name, World Toilet Day, and not, World Sanitation Day for ease of public messaging. In fact, toilets are only the first stage of sanitation systems. World Toilet Day events and public awareness campaigns increase public awareness of the broader sanitation systems that include wastewater treatment, fecal sludge management, municipal solid waste management, stormwater management, hygiene, and handwashing. Also, the UN Sustainable Development Goals call for more than just toilets. Goal 6 calls for adequate sanitation, which includes the whole system for assuring that waste is safely processed. The WTO began pushing for global recognition for World Toilet Day and, in 2007, the Sustainable Sanitation Alliance began to actively support World Toilet Day, too. Their efforts to raise attention for the sanitation crisis were bolstered in 2010 when the human right to water and sanitation was officially declared a human right by the UN. In 2013, a joint initiative between the Government of Singapore and the World Toilet Organization led to Singapore's first UN resolution, named, Sanitation for All. The resolution calls for collective action to end the world sanitation crisis. World Toilet Day was declared an official UN day in 2013. That resolution was adopted by 122 countries at the 67th session of the UN General Assembly in New York. The Sustainable Development Goals (SDGs) replaced the Millennium Development Goals (MDGs) in 2016. On World Toilet Day on 19 November 2015, United Nations Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon urged broad action to renew efforts to provide access to adequate sanitation for all. He reminded everyone of the "...call to action on sanitation." which was launched in 2013, and the aim to end open defecation by 2025. He also said, by many accounts, sanitation is the most missed target of the Millennium Development Goals. The UN Deputy Secretary General, Jan Elia Sun, was honored on World Toilet Day in 2016 in New York for his deep commitment to breaking the sanitation taboo. For example, he had delivered a video message to attendees of a Wateraid and Unilever joint event in the European Parliament on World Toilet Day 2014. In 2016, UN Water supported a toast for toilets in New York with the United Nations Mission of Singapore. Topic Background Worldwide, 4.5 billion people live without 
safely managed sanitation. Around 892 million people worldwide practice open defecation. Of those, 678 million live in just seven countries. India had the highest number of people about 525 million practicing open defecation in 2015. Having to defecate in the open is especially difficult for women and girls. Women tend to resort to the cover of darkness to give them more privacy, but then risk being attacked when alone at night. It has been estimated that 58% of all cases of diarrhea worldwide in 2015 were caused by unsafe water, poor sanitation, and poor hygiene practices, such as inadequate handwashing. This resulted in half a million children under the age of five dying from diarrhea per year. Providing sanitation has been estimated to lower the odds of children suffering diarrhea by 7 to 17 percent, and under five mortality by 5 to 20 percent. The human right to water and sanitation was recognized as a human right by the United Nations UN General Assembly on the 28th of July 2010. Lack of access to sanitation toilets has an impact on public health, dignity, and safety. The spread of many diseases e.g. soil transmitted helminthiasis, diarrhea, schistosomiasis and stunted growth in children is directly related to people being exposed to human feces because toilets are either not available or not used. Sustainable Development Goal 6 aims to provide sanitation for all. See also Global Handwashing Day List of minor secular observances Menstrual Hygiene Day <laughs>